In this tutorial, we will see how we can convert our CACPHP application into another language or we, how we can implement localization in our application. So for that, I'm going to uh, follow CACPHP documentation. If you just go in CACPHP version 4 documentation, so you can see there is an option in here, the localization documentation in here. If we just click here, you will see some in instruction given by CACPHP. So very beginning, so first instruction that we have to follow that you can see that everywhere CAC PHP, uh, in, in CAC PHP application, if you want to implement the localization, that everywhere we have to wrap every string with this uh, uh, underscore and a fast bracket like this way, two underscore in here. So you can see they have given also an example in here that how you can give in here. So in, in my application for this uh, sidebar, I just uh, given this uh, um, wrapper like this way, let's see. So here's the element and this is the S side, this is my sidebar. So you can see that everywhere I just given this wrapper, this uh, double underscore and the first bracket. So everywhere I have given this. So if you miss it, then it will not generate this string uh, in your PUT file to convert your uh, string. So you have to put it everywhere. Also in validation methods and everywhere you have to give this uh, everywhere where you, you want to ch change your language. So there you can see that uh, some example, just everywhere I just used it. So next thing that we have to do, we have to create a PU file. So if you just go in CAC PHP documentation, uh, in right side in paste contents, you can see that they have an option called extract PUT file. So you can see it's actually PUT file, not the PU file. Uh, there is an extra T in here, the port file. So if you just click in here, they have given an given instruction that how you can generate the put file or port file using cac php back command so uh, i'm just here and uh, extract the put file or port file then they have told us that to follow this chapter so i'm just going to click in here this chapter so this is the shell um, for generating the put file so i'm just going down and you can see they have given an uh, command or a shell command for uh, generate the PUT file. I'm just going to copy this one and just paste it in my terminal. So you can see uh, I'm just going in my terminal. So this is my project directory actually. I'm in actually Docker container. So if you are using Windows or if you are not using the Docker, just you have to just go in project folder and just have to give this command. So this is the bean directory in your project. So you know that bean is the cac PHP command directory. So for example, everywhere when we use the cac back command, we also always go in bean directory. So in bean directory, cac, uh, we have to give this command to generate the uh, PUT file. I'm just uh, hit on enter. So they will ask uh, some question. So for first, first question is, so uh, which part you want to, uh, you would like to extract? I want to extract uh, uh, I'm just going to just hit on enter in here. So next question, the same question that which template folder that I would like to uh, extract. So I'm just hit on enter again. I'm hit on enter again. And uh, this one is important. Would you like to extract the message from the CAC PHP core? If you want to you also change the CAC PHP core message that you can give it yes or you can keep it no default as just for this tutorial i'm just keep it the default and the final thing that they have told us asking you that where you want to generate your put file so you can see they have given the location the resource and locals it's actually will create a resources folder and also a locals folder and into this locals folder you will it will generate the put file so I'll just hit on enter without change anything you can see that it's actually um, given a message done so if you just go in your project folder in your you can see that they have created a resources folder in here if you just open it 
and there is a you can see the locals folder in resources folder in resources folder there is a re locals folder will generate and you can see the two file has generated one is the cat pod another is the default pod so next thing that we will create i will create a, another folder in locals folder called jp so now you can to you can tell me that uh, how i uh, give this folder name jp it's actually a, a standard that you have to follow so if you just go in cac php documentation again so you will get a uh, link uh, where is this link so here you go here is the links so you can see that there is some uh, icu local format local name for example france you you have to use this fr so there's the list if you just click on here so uh, for different types of language you have to use this shortcut uh, so there's a lots of language list and anyone you can use okay the first word that you have to use okay so i've just created this jp so if you just need another for example friends if you just have to create a fr this this like this one so then i'm just you have to just copy this default this put file in your jp folder and also your fr folder okay so in gp jp folder if you just open this default.put file then you can see here there is the for every sentence there is a two string the, the two string type one is the message message id and is the message string the first one is your actual language for example you are using the english your default language the first one is the, your english language and you want to change it to japanese in japanese folder i mean japanese folder so you have to give your japanese string in here so it will convert this line into your japanese language that you have given in here okay so in everywhere for your every sentence in your template folder and source folder they have given you this in put file they have given you all sentence in here the delete company name and for example my aside aside uh aside.php that i have and you can see the change password users and every string in here so before change it you have to change the file name first for example is the default beauty file it you have to change it you have to rename it to beauty file to pu file it's important so i'm just go, i have just changed it default beauty file to pu file the same thing i'm just doing for my friends uh, uh, language also change it in here now go in default.pu in here so now i will change uh, some little string for example this this whole bunch of string that i wanted to change it in uh, I, I want to change it or convert it in, into japanese language so for that i'm going in here so i'm just going to copy this line the change password and i'm just going in google translate and just paste it in here i'm going to copy this line paste it in here users I'm going to copy this users in here cast it again so this is the users and then the clients i'm just taking these clients in here and i'm going to copy this one paste it in here creating boys okay creating boys so this is the creating boys so there's lots of sentence i'm not going to change everything i'm just going a little of them so this is a dashboard okay and i'm going to dashboard in here okay so after changing pu file the next thing that i wanted to do so i'm going in my config file config folder and in app.php so you can see that in 53 number 53 line you can see the default local they have used app default local e uh, e n u s that means english so if you just go in here you are seeing it in english language but now if you just change it to a smaller jp 
and here is the capital JP and save it and just reload it in here so you can see that which I have changed the changes effect has uh, implemented in here so it has changed but yeah I know that now if you again go to English or again uh, want to go in Japanese so you have to make a routing in here you have to create the proper routing in here so this is the basic the first tutorial in next tutorial I'm going to give you the instruction how you can implement the routing in here to change your language in select box and also in URL for example you will just want to change it to en slash dashboard then it will change it to English and when we'll keep it the JP it will convert into JP so welcome in next tutorial for localization routing thank you for watching this tutorial welcome for the next